be Professor Doom here. And just to let everybody know that I did get a second strike on my Professor Doom 1 channel. And there's no way for me to get on there and to let everybody know once again to subscribe to my backup channels, Professor Doom 2 and Rebel Yes 23. Some very interesting stuff going on here with this story about this Tele Qui or Key or however you pronounce his name, this guy out of uh, Chapel Hill uh, at the University of North Carolina. Some very interesting stuff regarding this guy. I'm, I got a lot of stuff to share with you. I'm sure most of you guys have heard the reports about him being uh, some student out of Wuhan, China, and he studies nanoparticles. And that's what he was allegedly doing at the University of North Carolina. But you know what's really, really interesting about this story? Let's take a look here. I'm going to show you a couple little interesting things here. So something very special about the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, is that uh, they're one of the, mo the preeminent uh, universities on the study of COVID-19 research. Very interesting. And he is alleged to have been a student at the university in Wuhan, China. All right. Well, let's go down here and take a look exactly what they're saying. Police said a faculty member was fatally shot on campus at Caudill Laboratory or laboratories. Sorry, the victim was not identified. As a so authority said, they are still working to alert family members. Okay, so you guys saw that, right? Caudill Laboratories. Let's take a look at some very interesting information about Caudill Laboratories. Right here, the Institute for Global Health and Infectious Disease, the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, is actively working to find safe and effective ways to prevent and treat the Wuhan Wiggle. All down the line here, uh, the research projects um, Ralph S. Barrick, and that name is mentioned quite a bit throughout all of these articles about North Carolina at Chapel Hill, all this major research going on there. Very interesting timing uh, going on with all this, especially with the latest reports about, uh, hey, um, uh, what is Joe Biden saying? Yeah, we're going to make it uh, mandatory. We're coming up with a plan for a, a, a new uh, uh, a, a new vaccine, uh, yada, yada, so on and so forth. So let's take a look at this story about Coddle Hill or Coddle Laboratories. I'm sorry. If ever basic research mattered. Chapel Hill, we need an answer for uh, the virus in a hurry. Scientific research generally doesn't happen in a hurry. So thank goodness for the work Dr. Ralph Barrick has done for the past six years in a secret lab. A secret lab? At UNC Chapel Hill's Gillings, this Caudill Laboratories is a secret lab? Barrick and his 30-member team have worked with Gilead Science Incorporated to develop remdesivir, the drug the World Health Organization views as the most promising to treat the new virus. Very interesting. Uh, there currently is no FDA-approved drug available to treat the virus, so basically we have no weapons in our arsenal. Um, go on down the line right here. And I will leave links in the description box so you can read the whole thing. But this Caudill Laboratories is a secret lab, they're claiming. And you know what's interesting about the, uh, the specialty that they claim that this uh, uh, Wuhan, China educated uh, Talil Kui uh, is involved in is nanoparticles. Uh, isn't it very interesting what there have been uh, uh, certain individuals coming out with convincing evidence of nanotechnology being used in the Wuhan Wiggle Vac? Isn't that very interesting? What is going on here? But I got something more to show you coming from a North Carolina guns right group. Let's take a look at what, see what they got to say. 
are Firearms Forum, and obviously these people are right there with local media, and they are mentioning here that they know people on campus and they were being texted certain things. Let's see exactly what they were being texted. Lots of drama at UNC. I have a friend on the inside and he texted saying there is a metric crap ton of bad information floating around. Seems to be centered around one or two buildings near the bell tower shots earlier trying to confirm if any injuries. My daughter is a post postdoctoral fellow at the med school. She says that apparently the shooting was in the chemistry building. The shooter is a chem grad student and at least one person was hit. This info coming from police scanner, don't know how accurate it is. She's a biochemist, but fortunately she's at the med school. The shooter is not in her building, but they are locked down. Also, the shooter hasn't been caught. The guy whose face is all over social media is the wrong guy. And uh, let's see, just got another text from the daughter. Your friend is right. There are a handful of conflicting storylines out there, so no telling what is actually going on. And you can see that right there. Rarely, if ever, believe first reports in a crisis. Social media just makes the problem even worse. Sooner or later, someone is going to post or repost misinformation that gets people killed by telling them to run in the wrong direction or staying in the wrong place or post the wrong face and get someone innocent shot. Um, so right here, you're, you're seeing all of these people right here um, that have individuals that are on the inside. If that's really the dude, this will be off the radar by tomorrow. This is no sound like the typical mow them all, mow, uh, mow them all down mass shooter. It sounds like a guy with a target. Lockdown on all public schools right now is stupid. Why not just lock down the city? Uh, Chapel Hill is anti-gun and guns are not allowed on campus. All right. Um, <laughs> he will be labeled as a white supremacist. Um, so anyway... I just shared with you all of the interesting details about uh, this individual being a student from the Wuhan University. He's involved in the, the study of nanoparticles at the college. He did the shooting at Caudill Laboratories. And Caudill is a secret laboratory that, was in, uh, that had to do with a certain uh, professor, Barrick who was involved in creating remdesivir, the treatment for the Wuhan wiggle. Um, it sounds like he was in a lab building and not his car. Um, so I will leave you guys links. You guys can check out all of the posts in here because there have been quite a few interesting ones. Um, yeah, I'll leave that for you guys right there. And uh, thank everybody. And don't forget, I won't be able to post on my Professor Doom one channel for at least two weeks. I just received that strike this morning. Thanks, everybody.